Welcome back to the people who have watched the first video of the Ultimate Member. This is the second video for the Ultimate Member. If you would like to watch the first video, you will find the link in the description of this video. The Ultimate Member is a number one user profile and membership plugin for WordPress. In this video, I will be showing you about the forms and how to edit your default registration and profile form template and also how to add and set up for different users and user roles. Just the facts, let's get down to the video. Welcome to video number two. Here we are inside of our WordPress website. And inside of the ultimate member, if you need to watch how to set up the ultimate member through the settings, you will find video number one located in the description of this video. This is your dashboard. And you can move your boxes around to wherever you would like to, to see them. A user cache and you can clear your cache at any time. You can also purge temporary files. And this is your user's overview. Here it says I have 205 users, 23 approved, zero rejected, pending review, awaiting email confirmation, or inactive. The next place that you want to go to is to your user roles. And this is a most important part. You will see here you have a number of different user roles. The best thing for you to do is to create a new user role in which you are going to be using with your membership. So you would tap on add new. Now this is the easiest way that I've found. So say we're going to use the new subscriber. This is important because if they can access the WP admin, which means they can create posts and they can create their profile. So I am going to click yes. Force hiding the admin to the front end. In the front end. And I am not going to hide it. If you choose the circle with the question mark, this will answer your most important question. This option, if you need to hide the admin bar on the front end for this role. And we don't need to hide this because we are giving them WordPress admin. This is if you choose to do this. can edit other members' accounts, and of course you don't want your new subscribers to edit other members' accounts, can delete other members' accounts, can edit their own profile, can delete their own profile, can view other members' profiles, and here you can choose the other members of the profile that you would like to see that they can view. So you would just choose the ones that you want can make their profile private, that would be up to you, and it can, can view and access files. Can view the default home page, this is also up to you. This is your home page on that they would be able to look at through your admin. And the registration status. 
You have auto approved, require email activation, require admin review. And this is also up to you. If you choose require email activation, a login using after validating the activation link. And here you can show a custom message. You can also have a URL redirect after email activation. And this is maybe an or some other information that you would like to use. Action to be taken after login. Redirect to profile. This is, here is your choice. Redirect to another URL. Refresh active page. Redirect to WordPress admin. If you choose redirect to the WordPress admin, this will automatically sign them in to their admin. And I find that if you redirect to a profile, sometimes people don't know what to do. So I'm going to do redirect to the WordPress admin and action to be taken after logout. You can go to your home page or you can go to a custom URL. Go to your home page. And actions to be taken after account is deleted. Go to home page or go to a custom URL. So you see you have an opportunity to send people to different URLs as well. This is what you call your WordPress capabilities. What are you allowing them to do? So here, you would look through each one of these and decide, do you want these people who are signing into your website able to do things? And these are the different actions. Edit posts, edit others, others posts. No, you don't want them to edit others posts. Publish posts. Read. And here you want to give them a level. Edit others pages, edit publish pages, publish pages delete pages. Edit private posts, read private posts, and you can go through all of these different options that you have right here. You don't want people in your website doing things that only an admin should be able to do. And if you are allowing people to add products and use the WooCommerce, then you can choose any one of these boxes here. So what we have is edit posts, publish posts, and read. You can also allow to upload files and manage categories. And then when you are done, you would give your role a priority number. So I'm giving it number seven, and then you would create your role. So this is the role of a new subscriber. As an example, Now you want to make sure that after you have done this, you go into your settings, into your general, and here you will see your site title, your tagline, your email address, and here where it says membership, this is very important. You have to check anyone can register and then you will choose your role that you created, which would be right there, the new subscriber. And then when you are done, you will then just click on save changes. So now that you have people are able to post,
You want to go in permalinks. And you want to make sure that you have this post name selected. And then you would then save your changes. So now you have created your user roles. You've made sure that people can register for, uh, can become a member of your blog. Here you will see this is what your profile picture will look like and this is the size of your cover profile. Next we are going to so when you go back in your your ultimate number into your forms. Here you will notice you have three default forms. You have a registration, a login, and a profile. We are going to check out all three and then we are going as a test. So first we're going to look in the registration. Just click on edit. And here you can, these are the boxes that were at were added. When you just see your registration form, you may not have any boxes there, or you may just have username or email and pass password. So this is the registration form. The next form is the profile form. So this is very easy to register. Username, first name, email, and password. The profile form So your default profile form and I'm just going to click on the in your default profile, you want to click on your edit. Now, your profile form is not going to look like this. This was created by using the default profile form and adding different fields. So now, that being said, this profile here not to confuse you, is this profile here. What so, you add in fields to your profile is what people will be filling out for their own profile. This of information is the one that I have created to show you the example of creating a profile form. So then you would then click on edit just like you are editing your default profile form. So this is what you will be looking at. Make sure that you are in profile form when you are building this form. Here is where you can determine how many lines if you like just the in the profile. We are going to do an example of both. So I'm just going to add another master row to show you, and this will be that example, and then add another master row. This will be this example. A 
Okay, so now we've determined how many rows we want. Now we can start adding our fields. So click on this plus. In which you can add your fields. You can click on this plus to add your fields. Hold on. This will add another row. This will allow you to edit your row. And we will get into that to show you. You can edit your row settings. And here, color by checking in by clicking into the background color, say I wanted it to be yellow. And the text color, I am going to use black. Enable a row heading. And the heading text will be your info. Just as an example, you can have a, uh, a heading background color. Well, let's say we want to have that as red. And of course, I'm not going to be using this. This is just an example. And the text color is black. You can choose an icon from 1219 available icons. And then choose fish. You can also choose the icon color. This is what you call padding, and this is for more. This is for when people are more experienced in doing your editing. And here you have a margin, so it's set at 30 pixels, and you also have a border. If you want to change the border, say I chose this, or I put five, and I believe this is right. And again, this is for people who are more experienced in doing the editing. And you have a border radius. And say we have border radius of 5. This is just an example. I don't normally use this. And the border color uh, will be... Let's go with red. So this is just an example, and then I'm going to choose update. Okay, so now I've set my row, and now I want to add fields. We'll just click in the plus, and here you will see all of your fields come up. And you can add a text box, a number, you can add a drop down box, a multi select, and we will be going through each one of these. So basically, you want to have a username or email. And then you want to have name. So this is an example of using this box, this type of row here. And you can choose any one of these fields in order for you to create 
the problems will be what other people see. So you can have a website URL. So as you can see, I have three boxes here. Here's this to two boxes. Just simply by clicking on these boxes here. And this will now change from three to two to one. At any time, you can add anything that you see in your field manager. I'm just going to go over the most important ones that you can add. You can add a text box. So let's put a title in. Let's say the title is my pet's name. Okay, so my pet's name is the title. You're going to create a meta key, and a meta key is um, is lowercase underscore connected, and this creates your your meta key, and a label. You can create help text. This is a clue. Okay, so it's not Oscar. You can create a default value. And anytime you get stuck, you just click into this circle with the check mark. And it will tell you this option allows you to pre-fill the field with a default value prior to the user entering a value in the field. Leave blank to have leave blank to have no default value. Okay, and then you have the minimum length. So let's say it is twenty minimum number of characters to be inputted in this field. Oh, the minimum number. So the minimum number, let's say, is three. And the visibility placeholder. This is the text. That appears within the field. Example, please enter your email, leave blank to not show any placeholder text. Okay. So, no placeholder text. Privacy, who can see it? And here you can use your drop down box, only visible to profile owner and admin, only visible to profile owner specific roles, only specific member roles or everyone and does it need to be validated no none maximum length 20 is this field required no can user edit this field yes and then choose your icon this is how you create a text field. You can search in the icons by typing in a word, and if nothing comes up, you can just choose and 
then finish. And then choose Add. This is an example of a text field. This is an example of a drop menu. So this is a drop down menu. And it is the same the same information. You're gonna do a title that say my pet's age. It's the same as your label. So you're going to put your label in here as the same, and then your meta key. And as you do this, it becomes easier and easier. And here are your choices. You put one choice per line. Okay, so two three, four, five, six. And view anywhere, or sorry, view everywhere, choices callback, and choose an icon, and choose add. So this is your drop down menu. Your next example, and add as many fields as you would like but key fields that you are adding are what people are filling out file. Add a multi-select or you could add a number or you could add a number. This actual pro form, profile form for this website, I have the nickname, the website URL. I'm just going to pull up my the links or URLs for all social media that I keep in one place. And I'm going to get my website URL in which I'm going to use my medium URL as a website just as an example. And then YouTube. Facebook. And I don't know if, if you are doing this, but it would be a good idea when you are uh, in your social media platforms to start branding yourself what your business name is so that you can create your online presence. LinkedIn. And then having all of your URLs in one place, I'll leave the link in the description of the video that I created for that. Okay, create it from your business and a little bit of information about your business. Having everything in one place really helps. And then choose update your profile. You scroll down. First of all, you need to have your username and your password. Whoops, that was the wrong one. I wanted my account. A lot of people don't know how to sign in. Okay. 
So this is in my nickname here, DIY Affiliate. And I have my password. So you want to go to the site admin, scroll down to see the meta, site admin, and then this will take you into the site admin. And you can also, this is the front looking at right now, okay? But this is your dashboard. These are the things that you can do. So here you can also add a new post, file, tools, or collapse the menu. So we're just going to add a post. And what I would do would be to use a post that you've already created and just copy it. Sometimes the internet is a little bit slower. This is right inside of the WordPress uh, at the DIY affiliate. Oh. Copy and paste something that you've already done. And here you can see I have Yoast. So it's optimization and analysis is it needs improvement. So I'm not going to be working on that right now, but this is your ability to be able to, to create a post and to optimize it. Categories. You can also add tags. You can add categories. You can also search the categories. You can add a new category. Don't forget about your tags. Start typing in and you will see the information propagating underneath. Just add your tags. You can add an excerpt. When you're done, you would then click publish. So this is just an example. And then if I go here to members, you will see yourself. And even though this does look like me, but this, you will see your post under recent posts here on this website. So this will give you an opportunity to have your own little niche or nook online that you can use and also be seen here on this website. Right, so just going back here, you want to make sure that if you are not adding the ultimate member pages into a into an already existing menu that you are creating a new menu for it because the pages need to be seen. So you would just choose create new menu. You can add the pages into an already existing menu and I have one here. This menu was created with the Max Mega menu and I will leave the plugin in the description for you to find. So this is the menu that was created. And basically I have added all of my simply by going into my pages, finding all of my ultimate member pages that I needed and adding it. And I don't want to mess this menu up. But this is what this menu looks like. And I will leave the link in the description for you for the Max menu. You have your register, you have your login, your members, user, account, logout, and password reset. And it also will depend on how many areas that you have where you can display your menu. 
this particular theme that I'm using has eight different areas in which you can display a menu. So this is a very good theme. This is called Member Light theme. This would be the theme that you would be using in order to create your membership site. I'm just going to go into themes. So I'm going to go into customize. So I think I've covered I think I've covered everything that you really need to know to create your membership site. I am just going to show you the theme. I'll also leave the link in the description for the theme. And the internet seems to be running very slow as it's a Sunday. Anytime your computer freezes, choose the reload. You may lose information if you haven't saved it. So the active theme is called Member Light. So if you haven't registered yet, then you can register by simply clicking into the register. Filling in the information, activating the email, and starting your account. It, of course, it will tell me that I've already registered. So I hunt for a place where you can just make a post or a place where you can connect with what you want to do, then you can join this website and I can help you as a new beginner to grow your online presence. Stay safe and have a wonderful evening.